So I didn't have all this stuff. If I was still on building my business mode, okay, I, I live off past clients and referrals at this point through the through the personal brand I built, through a weekly email, making phone calls, okay, and I, my business continues to produce 100 deals a year. Most people's problem is they, they, they aim low and hit. <laughs> Let's aim high and miss. I'll tell you what it is, man. Um, people are calling current expireds, which aren't very many, number one. People are mad because 10 million agents have called them in the past three seconds. You got for sale by owners, not a good time, not a good time. They can sell it themselves. They don't need you right now, right? The market's too hot and there's 15 agents barking at them like a dog. Listen, man, geo leads are great and all, but I'm gonna tell you where the gold is, okay? You ready for this? Old, expireds, old, expireds, old, expireds, old, old, expireds. What we wanna do is wanna go back two years, right? So get Red X expireds, go back two years worth of data. Have that two years worth of data in your folder, okay? Now you have that data to chip away at whenever you feel like calling expireds, right? Whatever day you wanna call expireds. I saw your house was for sale last year. Whatever happened with that? Boom, booyah, end of story, period. There it is. Because now, what? no, this is what happens. They tell you a story. Okay. They give you a bedtime story. And that's what we want as a real estate agent. We want to know the backstory of what's happening. When you call Geo Leads, okay, great. Is there anything I can do to help you? Okay, you have an agent. Let me get your information. You sound really cool. You sound really nice. You created that relationship. We're going to do business in the future. You're going to pop deals now, too. There's, I mean, I got plenty of agents who knock down listings, you know, first call session of calling geo leads geo leads is now business by the way you only believe in it more and more as time goes on like the bigger that you get the more you have to go in all in like i've went all in more and more and more on this concept um because the thing is is when i lost everything back in the crash and came back and realized that was the key I still didn't even understand how that really worked. And then my business got to a point where I said, okay, I wanna write books and start coaching, right? And I started out charging for coaching. Then I was like, no, nah, relationships over transactions, boom, let's make it free. And then it kind of blew up a little bit. But then it goes to another level. You're just like, learn more. Like I gotta go even further with all in with relationships over transactions. And then it gets to a point where, I'll tell you what level I'm at now. I'm at the level where now, because most people say, oh, helping people, okay? That's how you build your business. Well, the thing is, is if you're helping people only to build your business, right? If you're just helping the people who can help build your business, then you're kind of losing the entire, you know, you're, you're kind of, you're missing the point here. When you, when you take it to the next level and you start helping people who have no way of helping you back or becoming part of your business or contrib contributing, contributing to your business, when you're helping those people who, you know, like for example, like I'll, I'll talk to new agents. I talk to new agents all the time that aren't joining my team. They're not gonna do this, they're not gonna do that. They're probably not gonna sell any real estate. <laughs> they're probably not even gonna get to the sale. But I, I'm still pouring everything I got into agents like that, regardless if I think that I'm gonna make any money off them, regardless if I think they're gonna come to an event, regardless if I think they're gonna buy my books. You know, I didn't know that I was going to be in a place where honestly, I didn't, I didn't realize I was even at a place or that I'd ever be at a place where I could literally post on Instagram just a post, which by the way, let's face it, there's not a whole lot of organic reach on Instagram, okay? An Instagram post produces six, uh, 600 agents registering to come see me speak at an event in Miami, just off one Instagram post, boom, 600 people register. Now we're over 700, we're 50 days away, there'll be over a thousand people in that room. I had no idea 
that that that's where I was going to be, you know, a couple years ago. No way. I, you, I could have said, oh, I'm just going to post something and people are going to come want to see me speak and sign up because they think they're not going to get a ticket unless they register right now today. No way I would have known that. So where I go from here, like I'm already in uncharted unchart- waters. I'm out here like waiting around like, you know, I don't know which which way to, you know, which way to swim from here. So no, these agents are magicians and they don't even know it. This is magic tricks they're doing. And I, I mean, seriously, I had to dial by hand and look everything up, you know, on Spokio and Bigfoot.com and white pages. Okay. So I didn't have all this stuff. If I was still on building my business mode, okay, I, I live off past clients and referrals at this point through the, through the personal brand I built, through a weekly email, making phone calls, okay, and I, my business continues to produce 100 deals a year. If I was still in building my business mode, old expires would be my thing. I would be the king of this stuff. You need to diversify. You need to do one day expires, one day geo, one day past clients referrals, one day follow up. You know, diversify your calling sessions. You know, focus on one lead source a day, you know, but diversify throughout the week. Yeah, that's where I see a lot of agents going wrong. You know, they'll they'll geo lead, geo lead, geo lead, geo lead, geo lead, geo lead, geo lead. They won't do any other lead source, just geo lead, geo lead, geo lead, geo lead. And that's great. That's fine. And they're getting emails and they're building their business. You know, but they'll call me and say, it's been three months. I don't have a deal yet. What's going on? I mean, I have agents that go, I had an agent that 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 got he didn't get his first listing until his 14,000th call. Okay. 14,000 calls in, he gets his first listing. Through those 14,000 calls, he picked up 300 email addresses, okay, and he's doing his weekly email, so he's building massive brand, okay? First six months in the business, 14,000 calls, he gets his first listing. The second six months of his first year, he closed 20 deals, right? Right? He's at like 30 something thousand calls in right now. I have another agent who did 3,800 calls and, and closed 20 deals within those 3,800 calls. So the, the results vary. You know, the results vary. I can't tell you how long it's going to take to get to your first deal. And I don't care how long it takes to get to your first deal. I don't even care what, if you even sell a property this year. What I want to see is database growth. Okay, right now, bro, that is the goal. That is the top. That is the gold standard right now. Nobody's calling them. They open up to you way easier. You build credibility and rapport with them instantly, and you have a story to go by. I'm a huge component of needing to know why people are trying to do what they're trying to do. Once I know that, then I can help them. And so if I, if I, if I take the old expired uh, approach and use that and leverage that to find out why, what happened, give me the story, what's going on, I'm in the driver's seat now, right? And, and now, I can cra- now I can craft that game plan based around their story that they just told me that brings us to present day and what I can do to help them right now. And um, I don't know, because I'm not paying attention to the evolution of scripts. I'm too busy trying to perfect and craft mine. I'm constantly tweaking what I'm doing uh, with how we're approaching our prospects and trying to figure out how to bring more value uh, up front and not just go for the kill and uh, work on our tone. Because a lot of times it's not even what you say, it's just how you say it that they just get that good old feeling from you that you're there to really help them, not just to try to sell them something. Um, so I don't know. I, I you know, I, to be honest with you, I'm not in that part of the game, so I'm not paying attention to how those co- how coaches are evolving their coaching programs and stuff. I looked at all the coaching programs when I first started coaching to try to figure out what they're doing. But since then, I haven't really went back and said, okay, let me compare notes to what they were doing four years ago to today. Um, but I, I, I would hope, I would have a hope that, that my stuff is trying to at least get some kind of mainstream out there, um, you know, to spread the word um, of how to really talk to people and have a conversation, you know, um, how to approach everybody like they're, like they're your mom, dad, brother, cousin, best friend from high school kind of situation. You know, I, I think I just, I'm a firm believer that that's what wins. Um, you know, and I saw a post, somebody, somebody shared with me a post. I wish I could pull it up. Um, 
there was a post about a guy that was saying, you know, people don't want relationships. The buyer doesn't want to know how you're doing or, hey, hello, or let's have lunch and all this stuff. You know, they just want to know that we're going to get the deal done and get the best deal and all this stuff. And it's BS. You got to swim around. You got to swim around, you know, and then, okay, see, here's the problem. People are trying to convert before they connect. Connect first, then convert. Bring the value. You know? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. I think that, and, and that's a really good way to say it, right? They want to convert. Before here, 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 here's what I would say, Tyler. People already know when they want to buy or sell. Okay. They already know when they want to buy or sell. They know when and what and why. They even know how much they want to sell for. They don't really need us to tell them when to buy or sell or even really what price to sell for. They already know it all. They've already got all the research now. Every day, every every prospect has all the research they need to figure out what things are worth. They got, they don't need that. They're already doing it. It's not really, to me, we're not salespeople, right? We're just helping people do what they're already doing, right? The sell is, is do they feel comfortable with me as the one to help them do it, right? So I don't know. I don't know. When I go in for a close, I mean, they're pretty much closing me at that point. Yeah. Talk to you in two years when the market flips. Okay. Listen. Yes. Yes. Listen, guys, you can't close every single prospect. Okay. Yes, there's a huge, I mean, guys, there's no inventory. Would you want to sell? And, and you know what it's doing? It's building up seller demand. There's pent up seller demand. There's so many people that want to upgrade their home or downgrade. There's so many people that want to move locations. They want to be on the water. They want a bigger house. They want a smaller house. And, that, and the number of those people are accumulating every day that can't do it because there's nothing to buy. So what's gonna happen when the market flattens out, if interest rates move up a tad, I don't know what's gonna happen that's gonna make this thing flip a little bit, but there's gonna be a moment when all the sellers, and plus, sellers are also thinking, I'm, gonna, I'm leaving money on the table if I sell right now. How much higher is this gonna go? It's going up, why should I sell? So, we're built where it's, it's this pent up seller demand is building and it's accumulating. And what's going to happen is, is there's going to be a moment when we re, when sellers realize, okay, it's already turning. I need to hurry up as this thing starts to plateau. I don't want, I need to catch it at the top and everybody's going to go at the, everybody's going to realize it at the same time. And boom, we're going to get like a, like a shot in the arm with inventory all of a sudden. And it's going to be pure euphoria for real estate agents because during that little 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 30 to 60 day window okay we're going to have plenty of listings to choose from for just a second cuz the demand remember the demand is still going to be there too